Oh, Okay, Mary, um, I'm sitting an iron here, but the setup is looking a lot better. Well done. Definitely starting to look like a golfer there, young man. Okay, I'm just checking the angles here. Nicely set at the top. Little bit over, don't worry. That's our next thing we're going to work on, yeah? Is that, that move there, that downswing move. Okay, just a little bit outside the line. And just a little steep, isn't it? That angle of attack is quite steep there. Okay, face square, body good, hips opening up. So a lot of good stuff there, mate. Well done. Okay, so when we get this downswing on plane, it's going to make a real, real difference. Okay, I'm very happy with all of that. Okay, and then same stuff here with the driver. Beautiful setup. Nice takeaway. Little bump at the top, you can see almost less, a little bit less because of a longer club uh, and a slightly flatter back swim because of the longer club. Almost a little bit less, but still just a little too up and down. Maybe a fraction outside the line. Okay, by outside the line, I mean the arms are not swinging back on the same depth that they started. So if they start on that line there. You don't want to be outside that line when you hit it. You see outside and a bit higher. Okay, so that's where we're going to work on getting that downswing on plane and on line. Okay, good stuff, mate. Happy with the rest. Starting to look really good. Hey, bud. Okay, thanks for the round. Um, look, obviously, the, the, the shots you're hitting, um, the scores, everything, okay, it's all showing. Okay, it's a hell of a lot better. Always work to be done. Okay, I'm obviously done. Um, a lot of the major work, all right, um, and now we start fiddling with fine tuning a little bit, okay? Um, but really happy with where things are. The setup looks so much better, the pivot looks so much better. It did come a little bit on our front line, the back line of the golf is our front line. It did start to come a little bit, okay? You can see starting behind the ball a little bit of irons, then you know, okay, you go back into that, loading. Not that slide and reverse pivot, that little bit of tilt. Okay. Um, but it's but it's way better. From there, obviously the footwork and driving off. Brilliant. Okay. The setup, posture, distance from the ball, absolutely brilliant. I'm super happy with all of that, right? Um, so a couple of little things on the course. Okay, first thing is lag putting. Okay, now it's a you know, watching it throughout the 18 hours, it's just a combination of everything. Okay, it's a little bit inconsistent in the tempo. Sometimes it's slow tempo, sometimes it's fast tempo, okay? It's inconsistent striking on the putter face. Okay, sometimes it's beautifully struck, sometimes it's toe, sometimes it's heel, okay, it's all over. All right, and then a little bit of read, obviously. Okay, but if your tempo and strike are inconsistent, then really it's hard to anticipate how fast you're going to hit the, the ball, so therefore how fast the putter's going to be. Um, so you can, we've got to work on that first and just start dialing in a little bit of natural touch. Um, not always so much speed, right? Um, the speed of the green. Uh, anyway, so we will work through that. Um, and then your recovery shots. Okay, now it's a little bit your chipping out of the rough is kind of the same. Okay, but the recovery shots are really, really quite poor. Okay. Um, so basically what happens is you wanna you wanna sort of keep it down, um, and how we do that is take some speed off and catch the ball on the way down. We don't necessarily always have to punch it. Okay, we just catch the ball on the downward arc, okay, which should be easy enough. Um, now, obviously, if you tend to sway and start the upward journey, then it's going to be very hard to do that, okay? Um, but, you know, I think you've just got to learn, okay, what is the low point, and that it's okay to have my chest and head in front of the ball. It feels awkward, okay? But almost sometimes, the opposite of a bunker, you know, when you put the, the ball forward out the bunker and you're trying to hit the sand, you know, a lot of the time, I'm not even looking at the golf ball, you're just looking at that spot in the sand you're trying to hit. When you're hitting those little punchy knockdown shots, okay, it's a good uh, sort of idea to have as well, it's just to look somewhere in front of the ball, a little twig or something like that. You know, and just trust that if you hit at that twig there, you're going to naturally catch the ball on the way down. 
uh, or that blade of grass, whatever it is. Okay, and you can't really miss it. And you can hit a little thing, or when you're hitting a little uh, greenside uh, chip um, chaser up the rough, or you're hitting a punch shot, recovery shot back into the fairway, that doesn't matter. Okay, because it just keeps the ball quite down here. You get what I'm saying? Okay, so you've got to learn how to bottom out correctly, control that low point, and stay ahead of those balls on those recovery shots and on those green side chip shots. Okay, I'm talking about up the rough. When you have a, the, the nice tight lie, okay, and you're a little bit shallow and everything is still, that's fine. Okay, but you can imagine up the rough, so that would be fine, right? You can imagine if there's rough here, okay, you're going to catch the rough before the golf ball. That's why we change it a little bit to get a little bit back foot, to get a little more upright. Okay, we hit it a little bit on the way down. Okay, so we're just going to fiddle with those a little bit. I'm having some lag cutting, all right, and then keep working on what we're working on the swing. So the last thing we're going to do, and obviously we're going to get into this in the next couple of weeks, so we love where the swing is settling down. Okay, so the last thing we're going to do is now we're going to start moving that circle. Okay, so don't look at it as a linear aspect on that video. Okay, what we're saying, there's your downswing circle. Okay, it's a touch steep and a touch outside the line. So it's causing the angle of attack to be a little bit too steep. Okay, so we're going to move that circle a little bit flat, a little more inside. Okay, how will you do that? Okay, we set those arms a little bit deeper, right? So as we unwind the downswing circle, we're going to stand those arms a little bit deeper. We're not going to let them get out and away from us. Okay, that's what we're going to be working on in the next um, this month. Okay, all right, a little bit of a tricky move because we want to do it in a circular fashion in three dimensions, not just manipulate our arms in a linear fashion. Okay, so we're going to fiddle with that as we go. That is going to transform your ball striking. Okay, it's going to absolutely transform your ball striking. Right, otherwise be happy, well done, and um, I will see you tomorrow.